Aloha everyone and welcome back to Singapore Changi Airport. My name is Shane. Today I'm taking a look to see how Singapore's national carrier stacks up. Come fly with me, we're heading to Hong Kong. I don't think there are any other airport trains quite as spectacular as this. If you have a moment, I'd appreciate it if you could hit that like button. It'll help me grow the channel and bring more content like this to you. Singapore Airlines departures are located in Terminal 2 and Terminal 3 and the process is smooth. Flying to Hong Kong, you're going to be spoiled for wide body choice. They fly their 777s as well as this big baby, but today's trip will be on the backbone of the Singapore Airlines fleet, the A350XWB. This aircraft is a seven year old A350 900, registration 9 Victor Sierra Mike Golf. This was the seventh A350 delivered to Singapore Airlines, arriving two months after Airbus's 10,000th aircraft, which was also delivered to SQ. Our flight today will take 3 hours and 15 minutes, leaving just after lunch and arriving into Hong Kong at 6.40pm right as the city comes to life. And for a closer look at Hong Kong and what I got up to on my stopover, hang around to the end for some extra footage. On board you'll find 42 business class seats, followed by 24 premium economy seats and 187 economy spread across two cabins. You'll get 32 inches of pitch between the rows, a bifold tray table, cup holder, USB and audio ports, as well as an 11 inch touch screen. One of the nice little perks of being a Chris Flyer member is that you get free Wi-Fi. And if you're not a member, you can sign up on board following the instructions before you take off.
The IFE system is really easy to navigate and there are tons of options for you to choose from. It's time for lunch and I've opted for the uh, penne bolognese. This isn't my favourite dish that I've had with Singapore Airlines, but it's hit the spot and the Magnum ice cream that it comes with is perfect for finishing off your movie. Before we descend into Hong Kong, let me quickly wrap up this flight review. Firstly, the cost. Typical fares on this route from Singapore sit between 320 and 680 Singapore dollars return. I paid 471 Singapore dollars for this flight. Quizfire members can redeem their miles, with early birds snagging safer fares for 16,000 miles, or advantage fares going at 30,000 miles. My seat today was in the Ford Economy cabin. This is the older A350 fit out, which you'll find on most of Singapore's long haul A350 fleet. And overall, it's nicely equipped for comfort. The in-flight dining today was lunch, which was a penne bolognese. Not the best economy meal that I've had this year, but flavor wise, it was definitely above average. The Crusoe good la. The crew today were absolutely awesome and much better than that poor attempt at Singlish. And welcome to Hong Kong. Here's some extra footage for you from my stopover.
Thanks for watching and until next time, safe travels.